Dear brothers and sisters, last night I had a dream that my husband picked me up in a big white pickup with the best music on the radio. Then we went up in an elevator to an upscale neighborhood. The Holy Spirit was everywhere we stepped. We talked about going to a shop named Cerrado. I discovered I had a large family which included many Hereras and Floras. I learned I would be teaching a class this semester called Language and Culture. I asked where the classroom was where I would be teaching. A lady pointed up to the third floor. The escalator up to the third floor looked like steep mountains and valleys, but the doors to enter were clear. Up on the third floor, there was an observatory, and I recognized many landmarks and buildings. Many animals were out of their cages. I saw two bears fighting. I saw large fishing hooks. I saw a car that had been taken apart that needed to be reassembled. Inside the observatory, Bill Gates was giving a poster presentation, which was a vision board explaining the whole plan and how it was coming to pass. The poster had something like a chevron symbol on it. Chevre means goat in French. There was a reference to Thanos or Thanos and his power. Here's a quote from Thanos. I thought by eliminating half of life, the other half would thrive, but you've shown me that's impossible. And as long as there are those that remember what was, there will always be those that are unable to accept what can be. They will resist. There was an explanation that anarchy equals antichrist. We know the antichrist will be called the man of lawlessness. Anarchy is lawlessness. Finally, after reviewing all these things on the third floor observatory to prepare to teach the language and culture class, I was reminded that we have the key to the finals. To interpret this dream, my husband represents Jesus, the bridegroom of the church. He picked me up in his clean pickup with heavenly music playing. We went up in an elevator to an upscale neighborhood, and the Holy Spirit was everywhere we stepped. Talking about going to a shop named Cerrado is a time marker. Cerrado means closed in Spanish. All the stores are closed in some way or another, or partially, or many of them are, at least, right now. Discovering I have a large family of Herreras and Floras reminds us we will have many brothers and sisters of other cultures in heaven. The third floor where my bridegroom took me in my dream to prepare me to teach today can represent the third heaven. The two bears fighting represents Russia. Daniel 7, 5 says, And there before me was a second beast, which looked like a bear, it was raised up on one of its sides, and it had three ribs in its mouth between its teeth. It was told, get up and eat your fill of flesh. Here is a picture of the bear with the ribs in its mouth, the three ribs. Perhaps with the bear raised up on one side, the three ribs in its mouth could represent Belarus, Ukraine, and Moldova. The countries in yellow and orange in this picture are those who are a part of the European Union. The green countries are part of the European Free Trade Association, along with Iceland and Liechtenstein. Belarus and Russia form a union state, and the Russo-Ukrainian War is still going on. This recent article explains that Russia is still rolling out of withdrawing from Moldova. On another side, perhaps the, re the three ribs could represent Georgia, Armenia, and Azerbaijan. Here's an article that is recent, and it asks, Can Russia mediate new clashes between Armenia and Azerbaijan? It's neither Armenia, <laughs> how many times I can even say this, nor Azerbaijan's interest for Russia to pick a side in their conflict. So Russia may be coming in to be a hero for these nations. The hook points to Ezekiel 38, 4, 
which says, I will turn you about and put hooks into your jaws, and I will bring you out and all your army, horses and horsemen, all of them splendidly attired, a great company with buckler and shield, all of them wielding swords, ready for war. So this is reminiscent of the Gog and Magog War described in Ezekiel 38. The hooks in the mouth represent being drawn into battle in Syria, which comes on the side of those three countries um, in the jaws of Russia, so to speak. This, the disassembled car represents people who've died. In the end, at the great white throne judgment, all people will be reassembled, resurrected, and judged. Revelation 20, 12 through 15 says, And I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne, and the books were opened. Another book was opened, which is the book of life. The dead were judged according to what they had done, as recorded in the books. The sea gave up the dead that were in it, and death and Hades gave up the dead that were in them, and each person was judged according to what he had done. Then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. The lake of fire is the second death. If anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, he was thrown into the lake of fire. So thinking about that disassembled car, it's amazing how intricately our bodies are made, how many pieces and parts make them work together, and that God is able to reassemble and resurrect, re resurrect us. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So, the Shevra, the goat, represents the unrighteous. The Lord Jesus will separate the sheep, the righteous, from the goats, the unrighteous. The sheep will inherit the kingdom and eternal life, and the goats will depart into eternal fire and eternal punishment. So the goat can also be a symbol for Satan. The quote from Thanos points to population control, eliminating half of life, hoping the other half will thrive. And regarding population control, Bill Gates was in the dream. And so if you have any doubt about Bill Gates' views of population control, I suggest reading this November 2011 issue of Forbes magazine, which I will link below and it, he's very honest and forthright in the fact that he highly believes in the benefits of population control. Second Thessalonians 2, 9 through 10, which I don't by the way, <laughs> describes the coming of the lawless one. The coming of the lawless one will be in accordance with how Satan works. He will use all sorts of displays of power through signs and wonders that serve the lie and all the ways that wickedness deceives those who are perishing. They perish because they refuse to love the truth and so be saved. In Acts 16.30, the question is asked, what must I do to be saved? And Acts 16.31 gives the answer, believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. Jesus is the way, Jesus is the truth, and Jesus is the life. Thank you, Lord. Amen.